You're listening to another Geek Pride podcast. Welcome to the Geek Pride podcast. Welcome to the cast now. We're so glad you came to see. Hello. Thanks for listening. Okay, so hi everybody. Matt Geary for the Geek Pride cast on this Tuesday evening. Uh, I have two of my esteemed colleagues with me. First up, we have Julieta Zavadsky. Woohoo, hey. <laughs> and he's back, ladies and gentlemen. He's bad. He spends most of his time making babies and games. It's Bevan Catworthy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so you got Number a new, 17. <laughs> you've, got a new, you've got a new sprog on the way then, Bevan. I have, yeah. I'm basically breeding my own playtesters so I can get more board games made. So. <laughs> um, yeah, new one on the way. De- end of December, Christmas baby. Uh, we're not going to call it Jesus, so nobody oh, asks. Oh, okay. <laughs> First oh. off, major letdown right there. Oh, what? Uh, sorry about that. Oh, Jesus? Is that the other one? What about Jeebus? Jeebus. Oh, oh my word, yes. So he's, he's going to get <laughs> please, born. Please, 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 middle name, Jeebus. I will I will put that in the hat of names. There we go. <laughs> it gets pulled out. <laughs> so he's going to get, oh, uh, he's going to get bored. He or she, or do you know what sex it is yet? Uh, it's a little boy. Oh, so you're going to have a little boy born around Christmas. So you're going to have to get two sets of presents for him. Yeah, or one really big expensive one. I mean, not for the first five oh. years because they're not quite aware of what's going on. Oh, actually, no. Poppy twigged within two. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, this, this may be the only Christmas I can get away with it. <laughs> yeah. You're getting board games. Oh, Dad likes those board games. I'm going to play Recommended age, too. 15 plus. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. So, um, how's things? What have you been up to? Anything interesting happened to you since I last talked to you? Which has been, for both of you, quite a bit of time. What's up? Mm. You go. Go, go, go. <laughs> um, oh, uh, oh, wait, I was trying to think of something really cool that I'd done, but I can't really think of anything. Uh, no, I mean, I've just been <laughs> cosplay life. lately. Hashtag cosplay life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody seems to think that because you're cosplaying stuff, like, you, you have this really interesting life, and it's just like, no, I just sit at home, I play with my cat, play a bit of X- Xbox sometimes, I eat a lot, and, and now I stream, so that's about it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I remember you saying last time we were streaming that um, you were drinking. It was something dodgy, and it was something <laughs> to do with bulls. Uh, bulls. Bulls. Oh, bulls. Yeah. She was drinking bull semen. <laughs> that was it. That, that was that it. Was, yeah. We were talking about <laughs> that. How long ago this last conversation was with us was we were talking about bull semen. That yeah, was it. For you. Think that I just sit at home and drink bull, bull semen. <laughs> <laughs> Synthesized bull semen, so it's okay. <laughs> Uh, sorry total derailment there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it doesn't get anything like last um the the last podcast we had last week uh, mike happened and he just sort of exploded onto the podcast he wrote us a little jingle which for some reason isn't working on my bloody computer which is really annoying um but let, let me just check if it, it might be my, my audio settings. Oh, it might be my audio settings. I wonder if I can actually get it playing. But he wrote us a little jingle, and then he started talking about how, and I never knew this, that uh, Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden got tongue cancer from going down on too many women, apparently. And I was like, you're lying to me, man. That's bullshit. But apparently it's true. There's some sort of, uh, you can catch some sort of STD type thing, which... Um, is carcinogenic and i was just well, like didn't shit. i think someone mentioned hpv didn't is that the herpes virus is that what it is is that what it is i think yeah. I, I, that could be that it because then it, all it takes is like um spontaneous growth that's uncontrolled and then suddenly yes you've got cancer oh. wow okay right there we go <laughs> I'm not a doctor, by the way, everybody out there. <laughs> so, could have just been pulling that out of the air. Right, let Probably me... the coolest way to get cancer, don't you think? Yeah, well, I was going to say, if you're going to do a rock and roll well... thing, that's the sort of thing you want to be doing. It's like, how did you get cancer? That's going to... Loads of women, basically. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Holy shit, man. That's, that's kind of cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, he did that. Get it. He, he did some sex ed video with his puppet uh, of Godzilla. <laughs> Uh, and started ranting about um, Metal Gear Solid, 
uh, ranting about Nintendo, and then just left. <laughs> so he was on, left. But yeah, it's always good to have Mike around now and again. Uh, I think I've got the the uh, the track. You guys, unfortunately, will not be able to hear it, but everybody else will. Uh, let me just uh, see if I can play it now. Uh, will it work? Will it? Will it? Will it? Will it? If uh, we can't hear it, you can't hear it. Yeah, well, that's, that seems to be the way. I think the computer just crashed. <laughs> Oh, no. No, oh, that's sad. That makes me sad. Per Mike. Because he, he worked so hard on it. Oh, well. There we go. The, the gods did not want it to happen. The gods of Geek decided to tell him that he wasn't allowed to have his song played. Anyway, so, uh, nothing interesting has happened with uh, Julieta, who has spent all <laughs> this last couple of months or a couple of, you know, bunch of weeks that we haven't seen here eating, drinking, and streaming. Yep. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Uh, Bevan, apart from having lots of sex and making other human lives, <laughs> what have you been doing? Um, well, I've been doing some other serious adulting, so I'm hoping to move house, which is, you know, um, something. Which yeah. is not that interesting, but anyway. Um, the main thing that I've been up to in the last few months is I recently ran another Kickstarter uh, with my business partner, Gino, for um, some expansions for that board game we designed yes, last go year. Stell. Go stale, yes. So, um, yeah, essentially we, we ran a Kickstarter to include some expansions because during the first campaign we had a couple of stretch goals where we were going to add in some more guest cards and a few other little bits and pieces and we didn't quite reach them. So uh, rather than just let it sort of die on the vine and tuck it away and start on something new, we, we had so many requests for more content that we just said, well, why not? We'll just run another Kickstarter see if we can get those expansions made. Um, and it just took off like a rocket. It was insane. We funded within... Uh, within 66 minutes or something weird like some weird no number way. like that so yeah it was fantastic it was it's really a sign good sign from Jeebus yeah. <laughs> Jeebus came down on board some <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um, yeah it was fantastic it was really good you need to call your son something really cool like Garthrang the Destroyer or something like that <laughs> Garthrang I, I want him to survive school <laughs> Well, you know, what are you going to do? Stuff. So uh, it's like, hey, uh, is Stevie here? Miss uh, John? Miss Garthrang the Destroyer? <laughs> I am here! And I'd be like, holy shit, that's the coolest name ever. Garthrang. Garth Bearded Rang. by 12 years old. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it runs top... school. <gasps> Could you imagine? Little dictator. <laughs> you wallied out there. Nice. <laughs> Dude, you, you wallied out in the best part there. You were like, could you Did imagine I... little dick? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, it certainly might be Richard, so uh, that might be much. <laughs> little dick. <laughs> um, little uh, dick in the world. As always, if you have any, uh, if you want to shoot the shit with us, uh, if you want to have ask, ask any questions, just talk. Um, by all means, put some messages on the Facebooks, on the Twitch, and on the YouTube. Uh, first up, we have Mark Pickering on Facebook. He says, Julieta, would you consider cosplaying some Dragon Ball? <gasps> um, yeah, I mean, like, can I? Because I've never really watched it. Would I be shunned? Would you be like, oh, you're such a fake geek? Because yeah, oh you'd, be, <laughs> you'd be equivalent to that person who wears the ACDC top and doesn't listen to ACDC. But the thing is, though, it's kind of not the same, though, because I'm like... I I'm like just a, I'm just a girl. Yeah, like, I'm a guy. Like, I'm just totally I'm a, just a girl. girl. Like, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, I can imagine some people will probably not like that but um it depends what character and stuff because quite a lot of people have mentioned that to me but because i've never watched it um you know like fire coming incoming on that but um yeah just like not really something i've grown up with yeah, well, never... if you wanted to cheat your way into it, there are um, apparently there's abridged versions of the series. So I don't know if you know, but a lot of the episodes of Dragon Ball Z seem to involve um, Goku or Vegeta or, you know, one of the main characters basically shouting for the entire episode. I don't even watch the thing and all I know, I've, I've watched this video of some dude who's all like trying to go Super Saiyan. I don't even know what Super Saiyan uh -huh. is, but he's he's sitting there kind of going like this. He goes, oh. Oh, and he's like really getting into it and he goes oh, 
and he's topless and it's just like dude what the fuck are you doing <laughs> Yeah, I've seen the video. It's it's mental. It's, so okay, so for for essentially the Super Saiyan. So like the main character is called Goku, right? And he is a Saiyan. He's like an alien dude with a monkey tail. And at the full moon, he turns into a giant monkey and smashes stuff up. So what they do is they surgically remove his tail during one of the episodes <laughs> so that it doesn't happen again. Oh, Don't know it why. reminds me of Super Vet. I've watching them just before, like removing rabbit balls. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> why, why was, was, exactly why was he removed? Identical. <laughs> why was he removed? Moving rabbit balls. And, 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 well, because you know, obviously midnight, they don't they... want shitloads of baby rabbits, so they were like, you know, giving in the snip. <laughs> oh, right. So it's nothing about getting superpowers at midnight or anything. Like <laughs> well, we don't know. I tried to make a wish with them, but it didn't work. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh man. Gross. Okay, no. Sorry. We, we anyway. Send... Anyway. Yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> so... <laughs> Okay, right. So essentially, yeah, he he can do all that kind of thing, and he's like um, a super fighter, and they can get better and better and better. And at one point, he um, he has like a life changing event, which means that he becomes incredibly stressed, and then suddenly his hair turns blonde, his eyes turn green, and he unlocks something called the Super Saiyan, which is like the the ultimate form of his race or something. Um, and it doesn't stop there. There's like episodes where he becomes Super Saiyan two, three. I think there's like four, and then there's God mode, and also it goes mental. He's like his hair just keeps changing color, <laughs> kind of like super, <laughs> kind of like Supersonic and uh, Sonic the Hedgehog too. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, except that Supersonic stopped at Supersonic, didn't he? <laughs> he just right. kind of went, "That'll do. That's, that's good enough." <laughs> Oh. so um yeah i mean to be honest if you wanted to cosplay it uh, just go for it everyone would recognize it you just go yeah it's it's go to <laughs> so, <laughs> it's good you should do that right? you should do that you should do that and see how many people you can troll pick something really random and make it so like make it obviously do the caution properly but then when you're talking to them about it make really massive glaring mistakes about it and see yeah. if people get really get nerd rage <laughs> get super nerd rage about it and then see what happens on um, what's 4chan, see all them fucking going yeah. Oh no, because I'll be part of one of those like articles where it's like, the top 10 most faker girl, gamer girl things. <laughs> and no doubt Jessica Negri will be like in there as well, because she's always in there, but uh, yeah, I can imagine um, there'd be a lot of articles about it and being like, Ugh, she's such a faker. <laughs> it just, you know what, I don't I, I, was, I was trying to figure out this whole sort of nerd rage thing and why sort of people get annoyed about it. And um, I can sort of kind of partially see that if you've got somebody who you know isn't into something and is just doing it for the, you know, because, it, you know, getting the nerds to like them and stuff. But a lot of the time, and like out of all the the cosplayers, people who do that, that I know, are are massive nerds. They know what they're talking about. They know the the themes they're doing. They know, um, they play games. They read lots of books. They're into their science and stuff like that. So I'm just like, why are you getting angry with these people? And I'm just thinking, it's going to be either one of two things. If it's a dude. It's because he thinks that if he's all like down on the on these sort of uh, people, then he, maybe he'll get laid because he's being like the edgy sort of guy <laughs> who's all like, right. oh, yeah, I'm totally that guy. You know, I'm, I'm I don't play by the rules, even my own. And then sort of, you know, somebody might come up to him and go, I'm totally going to have sex with you right now, and he'll be like, Cheers, man. Um, <laughs> or what is he? The Fonz? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> like what? <sighs> Hey, I don't like these cosplayers. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and oh, then I can't remember no. my second point. But yeah, that that's it. Oh, <laughs> uh, didn't that happen to you at um, the expo? Someone came up to you about your armor. Yeah, or something man. about this. That, that was. You it. just think there was this guy. This like, like I don't understand. I just it just annoys me in general why people. I can, like I said, in a small. I can understand why you know it annoys me when I see people wearing ACDC tops and they don't like ACDC <laughs> and the Ramones, you know, especially like Ramones and things like that. We're just like they're very sort of edgy, sort of niche band, and you're just wearing it, you know, you know, each to their own and stuff. So I wouldn't say anything to them, but it's like, you know. But <laughs> conversely, I just you know. It just, I don't see where it comes from. Why do you need to be that guy? It just, 
it just boggles my mind how somebody's like, um, I'll hope, I think you'll find that, um, you are actually this, and, uh, that's, that's, in, that's movie inaccurate, that is. And they all hate... have that voice, too. Yeah, yeah I, fucking hate, I fucking hate that guy. I really do. And it's just like, when people come up to me and are trying to tell me about being a geek, and I'm just like, what? what <laughs> and i'm just like sitting here with amongst all my lord of the rings figures and my little toy men and my gaming table and stuff and go yeah i know nothing about being a nerd nothing <laughs> at all <laughs> i'm just exactly. i'm just a jock who plays guitar and I'm, I'm just a bit too cool you know to do all this shiz you know it's just like oh. they kind of give themselves a bad name sometimes and i think that's a problem with geek culture in general i think and we've talked about this before I think certain types of geeks give geeks a bad name because they are that generic um, TV stereotype. Um, oh, like Sheldon from Big Bang. Kind yeah, of. and they're just a bit weird, and it's not sort, and they're not pleasant, you know. And that's not, I think, what the general sort of geek communities like. You know, I don't think I've I've met the odd person who's kind of like that but even those types uh who are a bit sort of well, i wouldn't call strange just a bit sort of unique you know you're a bit sort of you know maybe socially challenged you know they we all have our sort of issues and some people are a bit more sort of harder with people than others and um i, I even they are quite nice i've never met well, no, I lie. I've met one or two, but I've never met that many sort of like asshole sort of geeks. <laughs> but like proper that guy, like that guy at the ple- the expo was was that guy. But you know, you get quite a lot of them online. I think it's when they're online that they, they feel like you know they can get away with it. Whereas when oh, yeah. <laughs> when they're sort of in they're in front of you and you're they're faced with a six foot three Irishman in armor, they're kind of like uh, <laughs> you know, maybe just take my wallet, take my yeah, wallet, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> maybe not. Um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I totally. I mean, it's. I have to admit, when I was younger, that was kind of me. I was definitely very much. I mean, and for me, it was the Transformers was my big thing you know it was the yeah, fact yeah. that there was just so many different variants of the transformers and different universes and then they did the films and it was at that point that i kind of went hold on they've twisted everything everything's wrong here um the first one but, was good and then they just went rapidly down her- hill from there yeah i mean the, the quality of the films aside yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first one was pretty good yeah and after that it was just like what are you doing but it was what i then did was i went and did a bit of research and i found out that you know the transformers franchise has been twisted all over the place from from the 1980s version that i loved it's just it's gone all over the shop and it was at that point that i kind of went do you know it really doesn't matter if you're if you've got something that you love and you really enjoy and you can express that in a different way then that's fantastic you know cosplayers doing uh, like female versions of male characters and vice versa or um you know, putting their like like a steampunk twist on a, a famous DC character, for example, it's just it, it, it's the innovation, it's the love of that topic, it's the love of that thing that has made you go, Do you know, what? I'm going to put my own personal spin on that, and you know, but I still love the base character themselves. I just I've just loved them so much that I want to explore them within my own kind of framework. Yeah, and I think that's I think, brilliant. Yeah, I think they're the best um, costumes actually, because then the, it's unique. It's it's you know it's a bit of you like being put out there. I mean, I'm arty anyway, so every time I see like a a kind of catered costume to like their personality, I'm like, oh, this is really good. <laughs> it's true. I just you know people who you know who are creative are are the best sort of people you know it's just like mike <laughs> mike orvis who's on here he's a he does a million things i think maybe he's a bit too creative because he has about a bazillion bands he does a million podcasts he does all kinds of things but because of that he's an interesting person and that's i think they're the sort of people you want to be around you know you don't want the boring bastard and he doesn't do anything he just sits around yeah. e- eating streaming and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, God, who does that? <laughs> That's just crazy. <laughs> You're super crazy, man. <laughs> okay, um, um, have you have you watched? Uh, did you watch Stranger Things yet, uh, Bevan? No, I, is it on Netflix? Is that yeah. the one? Yeah, Netflix. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, all right. I'm so sad. <laughs> what about? Uh, have you seen Big Mouth yet? 
Ah, oh, I've watched a couple of um, like the trailers. That looks hilarious. <laughs> what about what about you, G? Have you seen it? Big Mouth. What's Big that? Mouth. It's right. It's on Netflix. Seriously, uh, watch it. It's hilarious. It's literally about a bunch of kids going through puberty, and they've got this thing called the puberty monster who visits them. Oh <laughs> it's, my God. it's fucking amazing. <laughs> but the problem is, it's funny in a sort of scarily accurate way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you're a little you know some of the stuff they're talking about you know there's a bit in it where this kid, kid and i've mentioned this before but um this kid jay basically he's talking about fucking his pillow <laughs> it was creasing because like i caught my brother at it once <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's all right it's a running joke now i know it gets like everywhere and stuff and he's 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 30 30 four years old now so he, he gets he's over it but um he, he gets the rip he gets ripped about it all the time and when i saw that i literally was streaming with tears and i sent them a video i was like dude watch this <laughs> and he was crying about it as well but it's literally oh, i think i saw you post about that actually yes yeah. yes it's amazing absolutely amazing. like watch it you watch it and just kind of go that's hilarious but stupidly accurate as well and it's like <laughs> there's a female version of the the hormone monster and it's like <laughs> you just have to watch it man it's kind of a bit sort of like holy shit can they get away with this but <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> it's very, very, very funny, man. Very funny. You need to watch it. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'll look out for that. Yeah. I've got uh, got some time off coming. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. I don't envy you, late. sort of moving, man, because um, I my my missus is uh, currently sending me on a daily basis uh, houses, so we're probably Aww. looking to move in each other, with each other, and um, yeah, so that's two houses to sell and two houses you know and then get a place together and oh uh, wow serious <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately the issue is she wants me to move in with her first in marple you know where she lives uh and i'm like no you, you should come and live with me and then and nobody wants to budge because i don't want to give up my man cave straight away and she doesn't want to be further away from you know her area in marple so we're at a bit of an impasse <laughs> so, we could maybe on. just take it in turns like, i wouldn't sell anything first because obviously you both want your spaces but maybe do like a month at hers and then she does like a month at yours so you, you're kind of meeting in the middle a little bit well we see each other quite a lot to be honest so it's not you know that's not the issue <laughs> yeah but you're <laughs> no because i mean like you're it's different when you actually move in with somebody i mean uh josh was all like oh yeah let's move in together and then he and i was like you do realize though that like you're really clean and i'm really messy <laughs> and he's like no 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 like i don't mind that's cool we'll have we'll set you all up in your own room and you know you can keep that as messy as you want and then <laughs> it's slowly just gone everywhere and uh, now i work downstairs and at first it was a bit like oh so i see that you set up in the living room <laughs> oh okay then are you going to tidy that up later and i'm like oh yeah definitely you know four months down the line it's still there and <laughs> and he's kind of accepted it now so i think uh you definitely like need to live with each other a little bit first to kind of get past that hurdle <laughs> maybe yeah i think m moving in because obviously she's got kids and stuff so it's just like a completely different kettle of fish but uh yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting because uh, I basically my 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 things if we get a new house right because in my place right so I've got my house I've literally just I just say just it's about been about a year but I got my man cave I, I, I extend I got my garage converted I got my three twenty four inch um, uh, computer monitors my fifty five inch up here you know it's all looking awesome it looks great and I love being in here and you know doing my nerd thing. Um, and she was all like, yeah, we'll just stick everything in storage and you, you can stick. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. I was like, no, it's not going to happen. So I was just like, okay, Louise, I don't care where we live. Uh, well, I do kind of slightly care because I would prefer we had a nicer house than sort of some shit one in a nice area. But I, I don't generally care where we live. I don't care what you do with the rest of the house. But I want a room that is equal to or greater in size than the one I have already for my stuff. And that's my place. I need my man cave for my things. Mm. And, and that's my only <laughs> stipulation in moving house and stuff. 
you know so she's sending me all these things and i'm sitting there going through them and the first thing i look for is can i convert this garage is it bigger than the one i have and if the answer is no i'm like nope <laughs> and she's like but, but why and it's like because my garage is uh 19 feet long and 10 feet wide and this one is only 17 feet long and six feet wide. And i'm just like <laughs> i'm just like no, great I remember greater two or equal to the one i have so she's sitting there kind of just going fuck's sake <laughs> but those are the rules those that's what's going on so yeah oh, it's not it's not she's not gonna make you down like the the 40 year old virgin thing where she makes you sell everything no i think no. Uh, i think deep down <laughs> i think she i think she would like me to get rid of some of my stuff because it literally is everywhere the only reason you know if you were to come to my house if you were a nerd or you know you know a single guy you would just be like, you know, or even a single girl, you would just be like, wow, this is pretty cool. You've got a lot of cool stuff, um, you know, but you get people coming around and they see my uh, my house, which is literally just um, full of toys and shelves full of toys. And they go, hmm, OK, <laughs> <laughs> OK, filling a void here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> like um, the first time I met Louise, I had to like. And I had to tell her, I was just like, Louise, I'm a huge nerd. And she's like, oh, that's okay. Thinking, you know, just, you know, a bit of glasses, like, s sort of the odd sort of, like, superhero thing. I was like, yeah, I don't think you understand how, <laughs> how much of a level of a nerd I am. I'm like, I, I'm like, I run a website called Geek Pride, and I have all the things, like, all of them, all over my house. <laughs> and she's like, oh, it can't be that bad. And then when she first came in, she's like, oh that that's a lot of stuff <laughs> and i was like that's not it it's around the corner as well and she's like oh right okay and then it's like um <laughs> yeah and i kind of converted my garage and it's all in there as well and she just sort of kind of looked around and luckily for me she accepted it and she's sort of you know she's all good because um you know that's one of those things you have to she's been with me for a year now so <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got to understand and <laughs> amazingly i thought I, I thought i'd just i'd, I'd do this but her uh, her son's 16 ryan and he was like uh he asked me loads of questions and stuff and then i was just like yeah do this and do this um he's been to a few conventions with me and uh i thought hey i'm gonna see if he wants to get into painting models and stuff so i brought a bunch of models <laughs> around to his mum's house and we sat there and we painted and then his daughter came in and I had all of them paint the models and it was so quiet. It was amazing. It was just like, <laughs> they're all sitting there painting. And you've got to stand this. Like, Louise, my girlfriend and her daughter don't shut up. They are literally just bap, 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 talk, 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 talk. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> I'm just sitting there and I was like, Louise, here, I'll try this and you got to paint this. And then, uh, Lily, you sit there and they were, it was silence. And I was just like, this is amazing this is amazing i need to i need to sell this remedy to to other people who have other halves who are super sort of sort of noisy and yeah it was good i enjoyed mm. it so yeah and you got your armies painted up <laughs> yeah that's true so it yeah. was she was she was kind of going uh first of all because you know i'm a i'm a bit what's the word picky like that. i was just like she's like oh i want to paint that big model up there and i'm like no nope. <laughs> and she's all like but i want to and i was like louise you you've not painted anything yet and i don't want you painting one of my best models and then messing it up or doing something <laughs> i love you but you know let's start small and then we'll move up so she started like with a little space marine and she did a, she did a pretty good job but she did this whole thing. I said, like, "Oh, it's done now," and I'm like, "It's not done. You got to do the. You got to do all the bits where you've you sort of kind of oh, gone over the edges. No. You got to do all the detail. Then it's done." <laughs> and she's like, "No, I like that. It's done." And I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> it's done." So she did it, and then I came round, and she's like, "All right, I want a bigger model now." And I'm like, "Oh no!" And she's like, "I want one of those. I want one of those." And I was like, "No, you're not allowed it. You haven't pit finished painting the other one properly." And she's like, "I have." I was like, "All right, I'll tell you what, Louise. You can paint." Bjorn the fell handed the old metal cast version of him if you do it properly and you do it the color scheme that i want and she's like okay so she started <laughs> it she got halfway through it and she's like oh he's done now and i'm like he's not done 
He's not done. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, yeah. So there you go. At least I, I, you know, get them into painting and stuff, and they're 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 sort of accepting it. You know, they accept that I'm a super nerd. You know. To the yeah, fun. that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. To the fact, to the point where I actually went trick or treating with um, her and Lily, uh, dressed up in my um, in my Star Wars armor. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. It was so right. it was so good. I really enjoyed myself. I think I may have enjoyed myself a little bit more than Lily did, <laughs> and she's six years old. <laughs> <laughs> God. What was she doing? Into the next again? house. Come she, on. She had a little. She had a little witch outfit. Um, she had oh. a little witch outfit, and uh, like she was getting a lot of just like running up to the sort of um, to the, the doors, and all the people were going, "Oh, you're you're the cutest witch I've ever seen." And then I just like <laughs> rock up with my with my lightsaber pole and I like, turn it on, and the dads would sort of pop their heads around the corner and go, "Wow, man, can I can I can I play with lightsaber?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, man, cool, yeah." It's like that's amazing, that's amazing. And I'm like, "Yeah, it is." And then they're like, do you want some sweets? And I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, let's uh, see, we've got some uh, comments on uh, Facebook and Twitch here. Here, uh, uh, what says, here kids going to be t uh, taking them all out, the packages, oh no. That I think that was to do with you um, having to maybe get rid of your man cave. Oh yeah, her kid. Yeah, her kid's going to be taking them all of their packages. Oh no. Yeah, that's why. That's why Matt has what they call a rock door with a digital keypad. So basically, <laughs> to get into my door, it's battering ram proof, and it has a keypad. So you have to either have a fob to get in, or you need to know the number to get in. That's I'm bringing that with me. Any place I go, that Just door's door. going to be that door's going <laughs> on the door. Ah, uh, and we've got Daniel, <laughs> Daniel Perskorowski, newest update. We don't want the newest update. We'll snooze. Uh, we've got per Peravoski, the guy who, who who's on all the podcasts talking to us, and we can't pronounce his name properly, is here. Hello. Are any of you going to Birmingham uh, Comic Con on the 18th and 19th? No. no. <laughs> so, the short answer is nobody is going we do actually have some geek pride people going but unfortunately i am not going julietta's not going and bevan's probably making more babies so yeah. uh, it's getting cold <laughs> we're gonna keep warm summer <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. brilliant so uh what is everybody being uh playing watching anything sort of interesting that you want to talk about <laughs> um, that's that's amazing music. cheers guys okay Great, good. so um bit of controversy in the board game world i'm really sorry guys i'm really one-dimensional i only like board games i don't watch tv i don't watch i don't play video games that's a complete lie by the way i'm just i'm just trying to be silly um yes so do you know a chap called tom vassal or do you know of a company yeah. called the dice tower yes yes uh tom vassal is potentially going to be wait before you do this <laughs> is this a bad thing against Tom Vassell? Is there an issue with him? Uh, no, not really. Well, not from my standpoint, but it's just something that was quite interesting in the industry recently. He did a video for, uh, you know, sort of doing what he is Tom Think segment. Yeah. And uh, essentially he came under a lot of flack because in one of the videos he talked about the relationship between um consumers and your sort of friendly local gaming stores they call them sort of flgs's yes yes yes, um, yes. yeah so it, it, essentially people a lot of the stores were up in arms because what he was saying was buy something online. along the lines of you don't have to support them yeah you, you buy your stuff online you don't have to support these um friendly local gaming shops yeah, yeah. um for, i mean from my perspective it, it sounded more like he was saying don't support the bad ones the bad ones don't deserve your um your money and they don't deserve your time and they don't deserve your support uh but it sounds like more that everyone kind of took it as you know shoot down all your flgs's online is the way forward let's not bother with the sh the stores at all um yeah. there was yeah. a there's a guy the guy who runs uh fanboy three in manchester 
Um, yes. Uh, Dave Salisbury? Yeah, yeah. I think that's his name. Um, that's who's, right. They've moved They've moved place. They've moved uh, premises, which is good because the old one smelled. I know he got a lot of stick for it, but the old one <laughs> seriously smelled of funk. It was horrible. It was just going in there that smelled. But they've got a new place. It's bigger. It doesn't smell. And he had this massive, massive rant about that. Um, I didn't read it all. It was definitely uh, too long. Read later. But um, yeah. Uh, he it obviously got to him, and, and there yeah. was quite a lot of comments about it. Um, yeah, so it I, I don't know. I, I I watched the video. To me, it like I said, it definitely sounded like he was saying don't support the bad ones, but I think he through the language that he was using, he was kind of tarring them all with the same brush, and that's what's kind of caused this this rift. So, <laughs> um, plus he's you know a lot of his stuff is supported by a company called Cool Stuff Inc, and they're all online sales. So, well, they might have a store, but they're mostly online sales. So a lot of people are sort of saying, you know, he's, he's got an agenda in this as well. Um, I think but this is just crazy. Too much, thinking too much into it, to be honest. I, I think so. I, I don't think Tom did himself any favours by, um, you know, he, was, he, he, he sort of dug into the point quite far. You know, he, he kept going back to it and kept having another terrier, terrier type kind of worrying at it. But no, I I I, th- I don't think he was saying don't support your FLGS. I think he was saying just leave the you know the bad ones, just let those ones just sort of disappear. When you say um, bad ones, what do you mean? Because I um, like I won't go to um, a gaming shop like um, a board game shop because I I don't feel welcome. So do you mean in that sense, or do you just mean like drama in in the groups or what? Um, exactly that. There are you know sort of there's a. Um, Certain shops out there are not known for their welcoming of female gamers. Uh, they're not welcoming of sort of children gamers. In fact, they're, they're, a lot of the sort of owners that the I think he was talking about the, are the type where uh, they started a game shop because they're kind of into magic or they're kind of into Yu-Gi-Oh or something, and that's the game they want to play. So if you walk in there and say, you know, oh, can I get the the latest ticket to ride? And they're kind of like in the middle of a game with their mate, they'll just sort of you know look at you as if to say, no. <laughs> If you're not buying magic, get out. You know that that kind of mm. uh, where you go into the store, they've got no interest in anything other than the big the the big card games or something like that. And you just feel as you as you described, you know, you don't feel welcome. You feel like you've just walked into somebody's house <laughs> and just yeah. mucking about in it. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's yeah. another thing that you know some they don't they don't people like that just don't do themselves any favors. And uh, you'd think for. a people who own a business it shouldn't really matter who wants to buy stuff and what they want to buy if you've got it you should be showing them a lot of respect but um yeah i I, i've been part not party to but i've i've witnessed um i'll not name anybody but i've witnessed some people uh in game stores doing exactly that um you know Unfortunately, you get Warhammer geeks who are very much like that as well. You're very much a case of if you're not sort of, you know, in the click, then they will give you, give you grief, and that, mm. that's just not cool, basically. Well, when you hear comments like, you know, oh, is your is your boyfriend here? <laughs> it's like, no, no, I, I came in on my own. <laughs> I get that all the time, and it's so annoying. It really is degrading to walk in and you're looking at. I actually had it in a comic book store in Lincoln. And, um, I mean, I wasn't buying for myself. I was actually going to buy a Christmas present for one of my flatmates. And I was like, oh, get him, um, like, a Thor comic book because he's obsessed with Thor. And um, so I'm, like, looking around and the woman – and it was a woman as well. She came up to me and she was like, oh, can I help you? And I was like, oh, no, I'm just looking really. And she was like, are you buying for your boyfriend then? And it's just like, why do you automatically (laughs) assume that I'm buying for my boyfriend like, I could be gay for starters, but, like, you know, <laughs> what, just because I'm a female that I can't be interested in comic books? It's just like, fuck you, man. Uh, it's, yeah. It is ridiculous. It's really silly sometimes. I find it extremely, um, extremely refreshing uh, when I go into um, sort of stores and I see girls sitting there doing their thing, playing games and painting. Um, I actually have a feeling that I've got a, I've got a, uh, like, a hundred person a Grand Slam 40k tournament I'm doing in Stockport uh, Element Games uh, not this weekend coming but the weekend after and I have a feeling there are some female competitors 
Um, also, uh, when I was in there last, there was a couple of female lasses sitting there painting and playing as well. And I was just like, that's the way it should be. Nobody was, you know, nobody was bothered. No, there was no issues. It was good. And I think that's the way it should be. Uh, mm. But there is definitely that old school sort of, you know, strange. Like, like there's a parody. There's something, I think the Daily Mash, you know, this whole thing with the sexual abuse going on and um, with actors and things. Um, oh, and uh, that, what's that producer called? Uh, Weinstein. Weinstein, uh, Weinstein yeah. that's the Weinstein guy, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and what's his name? Um, actor. Uh, fuck, what's the name of the actor? Um <laughs> Ben Affleck. No. <laughs> oh, not Ben Affleck. You wait there, you Ben Affleck. Yeah. Um, it's Kevin no, Spacey. he was Ke- involved Ke- with Ke- it. Ke- Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey. Oh, Kevin Spacey. Oh, yeah. yes. Kevin, Sp- yeah. Kevin, I'm gay, so that gets me out of jail free card, Spacey. Um, <laughs> yeah, so there's a whole party about how, you know, if you go into, if a girl wants to get away from sexual harassment, all she needs to do is go into a games workshop because everybody will just leave her alone. And it's just like it's kind oh, of that's mean. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of true in a weird way sometimes and stuff. But it's just like, yeah, I think they need to sort of get over it. You know, there's a lot of girls who think I would be, who would like to do it. But I think like Julietta is put off by the attitudes of men um, in those establishments, which is a well, shame. I mean. Yeah, they they had, um, I think they had one girl in there, um, and not like it made any difference, but she didn't like wear any makeup, and she wasn't interested in, like, fashion or anything, which is fair enough, but she even looked at me and was just like, why are you even in here? And it was, it's horrible, because, like... I'm not going in there to be like, oh, guys, look at me. Look, I'm really cool because I'm pretending I like Warhammer. Like, let's be real here. <laughs> yeah. Warhammer on a wider scale um, from the outside looking in isn't particularly cool, really. <laughs> I mean, like, I think it's cool. What are you talking I'm about, like, Juliana? It's fucking amazing. <laughs> He's ever, just okay? rocking his lifestyle now. He's just completely destroying <laughs> yeah. it. Well, I'm surrounded by Warhammer figures. and You're telling me it's not cool? No, but that's the thing, though. I'm not going around being like, oh, guys, look at me. I, I think uh, Warhammer is really cool. So does that make me cool now? Like, you know, I'm not going out of my way because I think it's going to make me look cool. So it's just like, why do you have to treat people like that? And especially to have a girl who is in there still treat you like, you know, Ugh, like, what the hell are you doing here? It's just it's silly. I would have thought, you know, you would have wanted to stick together because it's like, yeah, another girl's in here, I think it's not tribalism. my own. I think it's tribalism. And I think, you know, you get this with a lot of um, everything. If there's any sort of little click, you will get tribalism and people just sort of band together and then get really hostile with anybody outside of that little click. And, like, you know, you get a lot of geeks who think, you know, I've been a geek forever. Anybody who tries to come in and do, you know, try to do that thing or I deem as unworthy is just going to get a bunch of shit or is just going to get trolled on 4chan or Reddit. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, it's lame. It really is lame. It's just, you it's, know. Yeah, it's just silliness. It really is. It's... <sighs> It, I, I find it really difficult. I mean, you know, I'm going to be, I'm raising a daughter now and I'm very, very worried about where she's going to go. I mean, you know, she, she might not become a geek. She might grow up to be, uh, in inverted commas, a normal, you know. Sort of, a muggle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a muggle, exactly. So she, you know, she might grow up to just be, you know, follow the crowd, do her, do that kind of thing. And that that's fine. But if she does go down sort of the geeky route, like her, her father and to a lesser degree, her mother, um, I'm worried. I worry because I, 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 you know, stick my head into the industry and just see some very odd things. There was an article a few months ago where a lady was, uh, well, it was never quite explained, but she, she went through several stories of things that had happened to some personified woman it may have been her in every single event in which case she led a very rough existence um or several other ladies who've had similar experiences but it it talked about all sorts of things like you know in uh, at uh, a comic con she was raped by someone who you know she fell asleep and they somehow got into her room and did things to her um and then there was uh, she was talking about where she went into a game shop and some a very underage girl sort of you know 13 14 and then some blokes playing a war game or a card game or something made a comment along the lines of you know if there's grass on the pitch let's play 
and you just think, oh god, uh, I, I would, you know, just go in there with a big baseball bat or something, <laughs> just start laying <laughs> waste. Like I, because I, oh. I just, I don't think I, you know, obviously Lily's not my daughter, but uh, you know, I like her a lot, and uh, you know, I wouldn't want any man sort of being sort of like that with her. If I had my own daughter, I think I'd be super, super protective of her. Like I always said that. If I had a daughter, I would, you know, any man who came around, I'd sort of be all like, I'd beckon them into my man cave and I'd point to <laughs> my newly bought shotgun and I'd uh, I'd ask them their name and I'd write <laughs> I'd write the name on the shell and I'd go, have her back for 10.30 and then put it on the shelf. And, her, <laughs> <laughs> and I'd put it in my, my most sort of kind of intimidating Northern Irish accent I could. Um, but yeah, I, it is worrying. Women just sort of, you know... I just, I just, ah, do you know what, man? It's just like, uh, <laughs> the Hammer 1985 uh, said on Twitch, my daughter's grounded until she's 30. Good one, good one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's about right. No, I think the best thing to do, like what my dad did, he was never controlling or anything like that. It wasn't like super, you know, like have a back by 1030 or whatever. He literally, he raised me like a bit of a boy. So he was like, yeah, you like football and you like quad bikes and you like this. So like automatically I was already kind of a bit tomboyish. And then he was like, right, okay, we're going to get you into Taekwondo. And I did Taekwondo for like eight years, competed and everything. So I was at the point that if a guy ever spoke to me like that, I didn't need my dad. I could just flatten in myself. So I think maybe <laughs> nice. Taekwondo or self-defense classes is a very good idea. Because mm-hmm. how yeah. proud would you be of your daughter if, you know, some guy made a comment and then she just turned around and like bust a chair on his back or something? You know what I mean? Like, Well, I'd, I'd be mortified, but inside, yes, I'd be <laughs> You're like, God, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I didn't raise you to do that. Well done. Got him right on the noggin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, I just, I, I just, I, I don't understand. You know, I'm a man, and I understand that men are shit sometimes, and that you know, <laughs> we have one track minds. I put it down to genetics and stuff, and it, it's sort of, it's hard. This sort of, you know, it, it's in there, and you're just like, fuck off, get away, go away. But you know, I just, if you're, if you're brought up properly, and you're a good human being, and you're a gentleman. You don't treat women like that, and you don't sort of, you know, it's not even just women. You don't treat anybody like that, but it's just like, yeah. I don't understand how some guys think it's cool. Like, prime example, right? When I, um, Louise uh, had a boss, I'll not ma- name him or where he is sort of uh, <laughs> established. will be in the show notes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, yeah, so Louise is a good looking girl, and, um, she gets a lot of sexual innuendo and sexual sort of uh, banter th- towards her, in uh, especially in one of her places of work, which I'm not overly happy about. But because you know she doesn't want to sort of rock the boat, as a lot of you, you find a lot of the case in a lot of these cases, these girls they just say, "I don't want to rock the boat. Uh, I want to keep my job and things." She's about she's about the same, you know. She gets on with them. She just sort of puts it down as boys will be boys, um, but more specifically, uh, her boss or one of her bosses, like she's self-employed, but she has sort of like she works for companies, and one of these bosses. Um, basically sends her horribly sexual text messages and stuff now i found out about these uh and i was like why the fuck are you putting up with this and she's like oh he's just you know he's drunk or he should make excuses and i was just like that's fucking insane and i said well i hope you're keeping these because that'll be a pay rise later on down the line (laughs) you're threatening to throw that shit at him um but one day she got this message from him because apparently when he's had a few drinks or he's had a few you know he's had a bit of nose candy he fucking uh goes off on one and starts sending her like horrible sort of like you know how much he would do to her and what he would do and all these things oh, and, and i and i i was out with her um we'd been out for a nice date we'd gone uh and i got this she got a message and she was sort of reading it and i said give me that phone 
and I, I I have no issue. I don't read her messages. I don't, you know, I I'm a very trusting person, and I'm I don't need to know what she's doing with her phone. She can talk to anybody, won't? Because I trust her. But I knew it was this guy, and I said, "Give me your phone." And so she gave it to me, and I started reading this message, and I was like, "What the fuck is this guy's problem? What what's going on here?" And it was it was horrible. It was just like, why would you even say this to a person? you know you like i you know it, it it was it was sexually aggressive it was cringeworthy the whole thing was just like how does that ever work with anybody and then i started scrolling up at all the other messages he'd sent and stuff and like she's trying to play it off in her, her replies and things and then i get up to the top and lo and behold there it is a dick pic. No, I was yeah. just waiting for you to say. Uh, yeah, a dick pic, and it wasn't that's... even. It wasn't uh. even a hard penis. It was a flaccid, ugly, shriveled <laughs> dick pic. And I just went. I went to Louise. I was just like, Louise, um, why the fuck is there a dick pic on your account? And she's like, Oh, he's just this. And I was just like, I said, Why is that even sort of? <laughs> Why would he even send that to you? It's not even fucking flattering. This guy has the smallest penis I've ever seen. You know, it doesn't matter. But it's fucking... It's like... And I should know. I've got fucking squirrel cock, so it doesn't... You know, it's just like... But it's just like... You know, this guy... And I was like, how is that flattering? How does... You know, if I'm going to impress a girl, I'm going, hey, Louise, I'm going to send you a picture of my penis. And that's going to make you want to have sex with me. I don't think any girl has ever seen a picture of a penis... And went, holy shit, I was totally not into this guy at that, you know, but now I want to ride it. No. Now <laughs> I've seen in your, I've, now I've seen your flaccid, scrawny cock. I'm going to totally have sex with you. I said, like, I, I don't understand what goes through guys' minds. Why would you do it? It's like the first thing a girl's going to do is send that shit on to your friends. She's like, look at this idiot. He sent me a flaccid dick pic. And that's what he did. She <laughs> sent that around to these fucking people. So these people have this guy's cock on the fucking... <laughs> Why would you do it? <laughs> on their and screensavers, I... on their Instagram. Yeah. So what what I did, <laughs> and we ha- what I did was this guy sent a message saying, um, I'd like to do this to you and this, this, and this. So I took a picture of myself, sent them back to him, and went, nah, mate, I'm not into that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he didn't get a reply no reply and apparently in work he was just like did, did i send you an, uh did i send you any messages the other night i was really drunk and i was on drugs and stuff and she's like yeah you did and he said well oh, i'm really sorry you know i didn't know what i was doing and stuff and then we haven't heard anything since anything Good. since so Good. it's just like Shit. fucking hell man that it was <sighs> just absolutely insane how that girls have to put up with that sort of thing and uh, it's it's the fact that they feel like th- they have to or they'll lose their jobs or they'll have to because they'll, you know, something will happen to them. So when I hear people say this stuff online, this is very serious for a geek conversation. But Yeah, this you know, is getting uh, deep. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's horrible. Uh, you know, I would like to think I'm a gentleman and I treat most women with respect and with decorum and i you know i would i i find it i find it hard to be domineering when it comes to you know sex with my partner let alone sort of (laughs) kind of being sort of like here's a dick pic and let's do this you know it's just sort of it's not in me because i've been told that you respect you know the opposite sex and you you know you don't do shit like that and it's just it, it boggles the mind so i have i have the utmost sympathy for all these women and yourself julietta and people who have to put up with this shit because it's fucking horrible it really is sort of grim you know grim well i do find i mean it, yeah it is a pain in the ass but i suppose it's kind of like generally known and not accepted that like um like we accept that guys do that but like everybody knows that some guys do that so it's it's not like a an unheard of thing but when like a, a woman would do that to a guy it's kind of like oh man you know like whatever that's so stupid and stuff so i kind of feel sorry for guys that get you know sexually harassed by women i mean i I'd, i've not heard many cases of it but it can't be easy to admit 
from a guy's point of view. You do, the... you do, you do get it now. Again, I'll not ne- I'll not mention any names and stuff like that. But you know, I have <laughs> I've been you know what you would probably call sexually assaulted by a couple of women where they've been a bit sort of touchy feely, grabbed my bits. I've been out in town, <laughs> and some girl just came up me and grabbed me by the cock. It just grabbed my my penis well, and I was, was it hanging out I don't know <laughs> obviously it's so big Bevan it was, it was hanging I it was just sort of like scrolling down my, my, my leg oh you my know? god she thought she'd grab my knee yeah. <laughs> but yeah but, and, and then there was a, uh, a lady a more sort of uh, mature lady who used to quite like sort of being very touchy feely with me and some of my friends and it was just like because you're a man you know, it's it's felt like you know you've just got to deal with this. It, accepted, you know, it, it doesn't it didn't bother me. You know, it was just a bit weird, but it you know it does happen. I doubt it happens as much as maybe you know it will happen with with ladies, but uh, yeah, there there is obviously um, you know sexual advances to guys, and because they're guys, it's sort of expected that they should just deal with it. Like that whole uh, that whole see, saying, "Man up." which seems to come up a lot you know if you can't do it man up i was like well well see there's the difference though you you said sexual advances a sexual advance is not the same as a sexual abuse or a, um a what would you call it uh, right yeah so a sexual advance you know if someone if someone came up to you and propositioned you you know that's that's a thing and you can deal with that situation yeah, yeah. but if someone's sending like you know sending to your your missus those horrific pictures and text messages that are quite clearly overstepping a boundary. I wish, I wish I had that picture now. I wish I could just show <laughs> it. Because it was just... I might actually get her to send it to me just for a punishment, you know. and Because she doesn't oh. even really like working there. She, you know, so, and so I think I, I might say, you know, when you, you're you about to leave, Louise, send me that picture and I'm just going to plaster it all over the internet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but can't you get, like, done for that now? Because it's like... Um, it's like... Um, what is it called? You know when, revenge like, porn? revenge, yeah, porn? like, yeah, revenge porn. So what I would do is I would just email it to his work or something because <laughs> he's the boss. Unfortunately, <laughs> oh. so oh, here you go. Here's your penis, mate. And it's like, all right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm just. That's the thing is, I'm not a violent person. So when it comes to sort of stuff like that, you know. Other men might be like, mm, me man, brr, must fight, <laughs> must fight. And, you know, I I can get to the Hulk angry stage if I'm pushed. But it's just like, I just look at things like that and I'm just go, it's embarrassing. And, you know, you're not even worth it, to be honest. You know, um, why why would I do it? If he had physically touched her or something, then maybe that would be something completely different. But, yeah. you know, stuff like that. It's just like, it's embarrassing, mate. Why would you do that to yourself? You just... You know. Oh, I lose my temper all the time because I've never. Well, I say I've never. I've only had one guy touch me while in costume, and it was my Alien Queen costume, and he put his hand on my butt. Um, of all costumes, he, he picked that one. But um, I normally <laughs> That's saying get, a lot about him, isn't it? Really? Yeah, I know. And he was just, and I was like, "Can you just Ugh. like not get your hand? Like, can you get your hand off me?" And he was like, "Oh, like why?" And it's like, "Well, because I don't know you, and I wouldn't just walk up to you and put my hand on your bum." So like, fuck off. But um, I don't really get people touching me, thank God. But I get a lot of propositions. Um, so I get a lot of like emails or like have you comments. Got any to ha- have you got any to hand? You don't have to name names. Do you have anything you can? Read? I actually ha- I had one the other day, and like I'm I'm quite like a hot, fiery tempered person. So like I can be totally chill, Hashtag and then mental. all of a sudden, yeah, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> like something can just n- like just push me the wrong way, and I can just totally lose my temper, and I'm just like fuck this, fuck you guys, and like I just get really snotty about it. And um, somebody emailed me the other day and was just like, um, oh, do you do... I I get this all the time and it's so annoying. It's like, oh, um, do you do private photo shoots and do you do private videos? And if you do, how much? And I, I, like, normally I'd just be like, I'd either ignore them or I'd be like, no. 
I, but I was, I just kind of, like, it pushed me off the edge. And I was just like, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, you dirty little pervert. And I just kind of, like, blew up about it. So, and then, like, Josh afterwards was like, you know, you don't have to be so horrible about it. And it's just like, but why ask me that? Like, I'm not, yeah. and like, I'm not, uh, I, I clearly don't do this. Like, I've ne- you've never come across me being, like, doing, like, dirty videos or anything. So, like, why ask me that? It's, uh, it, 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 it boggles my mind what goes through certain guys' heads. I think, you know, it, it's literally, you'll have guys who have obviously very little experience of the opposite sex and they think that's cool or they think that that's sort of what people do. And it's just, it's mad. Madness. Pure madness. You know, it, I think it, it annoys me because they, they act like as if you're so desperate for money that you'll like be like, oh yeah, like I'll totally do that. Like one guy said... Um, you know, oh, I'll buy you really expensive underwear, and it was just like, no, I, I don't want you to. Or like, oh, I'll send you money. Can I send you money? No. That's fucking like, bad. why would you say that? <laughs> fucking hell! Happens it's to me money. all the time. You know? <laughs> people, people offering me sexy underwear and money and shit, and I'm like, oh, I'm not. I'm just not that sort of guy. You know, I do like the un- I do like the underwear, and money would be good. But you are, know. are you an underwire or an overwire guy? <laughs> At this moment in time, I think I need a, a bit of an under. I need to get back to the gym. <laughs> uh, see, mine's mine's a corset. It's got to be a proper part. I've got dad bod. Dad bod is happening. Yeah, uh, oh. I know Dustin would be really pissed if you heard me say that. <laughs> Sorry, Dustin. Um, <laughs> but yeah, dad bod is happening. Um, and it's not good. Beer belly, yeah, a bit of yeah, a beer belly. belly, yeah. yeah. See, so that's that's the problem with the Geary. All the Geary men, they're not sort of too bad, sort of up top and stuff. They're quite wide, sort of like you know, quite well built. But they all have big beer bellies, <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't want to get the beer belly. So I've been like hammering the gym, but then obviously because I've been busy and holidays, and recently I haven't been arsed, I haven't been in a while, and it's growing. It's growing, and I'm just like, oh no, I need to get back. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> it's alive. Oh, yep. There we go. So yeah, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was very deep. Quite, yeah. Yeah, very deep. So yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not sure how Louise is going to feel about me um, airing her. <laughs> she, <laughs> I should be does, she, does she? Does she, she listen? Does she? Yeah, she does now and again. She's annoyed at me because um, I think she's annoyed at me because she's going to bed now, and I haven't said uh, I haven't been talking to her all day because I was at band practice before I came here, and then obviously straight into the podcast. So she's like, mm, mm, not talking to me. You're a terrible boyfriend. Um, you fired. But, but we were like, we were writing a really good song at practice, and then sort of came in, and I had to sort of you know run in, and I sort of sent her a few messages on the way, the way to uh, I sent her a few dick pics, and on the way just sort of <laughs> I was like driving and shit, you know, taking a picture. There you go, that'll do you. And Please then... tell me it was pictures of Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just be fantastic. I've seen that before, where people have actually said, "I'm going to send you a gratuitous dick pic," and it's just Dick Van Dyke or something like that. <laughs> Oh, I'd actually look forward to those kind of dick pics. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing is, I was doing, I would send like, you know, dick pics and it was just like people, you know, people called dick. So yeah. So, dick Tracy? Uh, yeah. Dick Whitting? Dick. Yeah. <laughs> Gratuitous dick pic. Uh, oh, the Hammer 1985 says dick pic and chill. I think that's going to have to be the name of this podcast. Dick pic and chill. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, okay, so um, we're going to have to um, call it a day soon, or call it an eve. So has anybody got else, anything else they would like to talk about sans dick pics? Well, if I don't, I'm saying this to everybody who's watching, if I don't get a Dick Van Dyke pic in my <laughs> inbox, I'm going to be very disappointed. That's right. <laughs> everybody who's watching now, you mean uh, Dick Van Dyke, or Dick, Dick related but not phallic, <laughs> dick-related, but not phallic pictures. Yeah. So any guys called dick, you know, a spotted dick, the food. You know, oh. Yeah. That's there a bit of a know. tragically <laughs> named uh, um, food, isn't it, really? Spotted dick, yeah. It spotted. does sound like a VD. Have you ever tried <laughs> you know? it, though? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, with is, a bit is, of custard. Mm. <laughs> is it like a pudding? Isn't it a pudding? Yeah. Yeah. It's like I've never tried it. 
Like raisins. I think it's shit. it's kind of spongy. Yeah, I think the raisins are the the spotty bits, aren't they? I think it's spongy. I think it's spongy. It was it was better than the vagina buns. I'll tell you that. Uh. I definitely preferred it to those. <laughs> oh man! Oh brilliant. Anyway. Uh, uh. <laughs> By the way, here's a bit of a random one. I found this like ages and ages ago, and I don't even know why it's in my, oh my head. God. But we were talking about spotted dick, so it's just come into my head. Um, if you go into Google, you know way in there was a Red Dwarf episode where everything was reversed, and they went to London, but it was backwards. It was called Nodnall. If you yeah. type Nodnall into Google image search, it's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> I don't sure. Uh, you know what? Let, let, I'm gonna do it now as well because it's been a few years. I put on. Uh, you know what? It's been so long that I did it on Geek Pride. It just I said, please. I, I put on this thing. I said, right, everybody. Uh, it's very important that you don't type nod null into a uh, Google image search. Just don't do it. And then obviously people did it. And then we had some woman who got super offended and said, how dare you do that? And I was like, what are you talking about? I told you not to. And she said, yes, but you would expect us to do that. And I, it's like, well, I told you not to. And yeah, so that didn't go down too well. But um, let me just uh, type it in here. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, oh, there's a place called Nodnall in Bulgaria. Brilliant. <laughs> there you go. Uh Oh no. Images. Ah, oh, it's a bit tame now. What happened to. Oh. Ah. Yeah, I was going to say, like, um. I've got a thing what am I looking at here? Yeah, it's just. Ah, oh, boo. They've, they've obviously changed it. Oh, well. That, that's, that bit of fun's out the window now. <laughs> Let's Mine's just say... asking me for a robot capture thing. It's really sketchy. <laughs> Looks yeah. like I've hacked my own Google account. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Creepy. basically, when I did it uh, before, uh, <laughs> it was just some fucking weird porn, like, just came up. Uh, it was, like, dude. really fucking weird. <laughs> you could have told me that. That's my search history now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it Did was... If you scroll like... down, though, there's, like, a, a weird robot baby silver man with something in his mouth, and then there's, like, a Donald Trump cat. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say just random stuff. Yeah, I've got they, we, we've, we've got a, a tandem bike here. So there's a, yeah, they've got a guy with a um, what looks like a a knob, uh, not a penis, uh, like a sort of like fire <laughs> knob on his eye. Um, or like a doorknob? Yeah, like you know, not not so like you know one of those ones that you open sort of like uh, a valve, like a valve type thing. Oh, oh. I can see that. Yeah. Next to the Chihuahua. Yeah, next to the Chihuahua. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, so I'm really, ah, oh, I'm very disappointed with that. I was expecting there to be penises and guys doing stuff that were not, yeah. Oh, well, there you go. That fun's <laughs> done. So, yeah. Okay, on that uh, non-penis related bombshell, I think we're going to end it here, ladies and gents. Um, thank you very much for uh, watching, uh, listening. Um, as always, if you are going to download this, you can find us on iTunes and on Google Play. We're on YouTube, Twitch, uh, on the website as well. Um, so I have been Matt Geary. Oh, no. <laughs> do this every time. Every time. All every right. So, time. so we're going to start off with Julieta. Then Bevan. Oh, wait. Can we can we swap? Can I be like I've been Matt Geary? Okay, okay, all right. I'll I'll be Bevan Clatworthy. You be Matt. Oh no! And then <laughs> you can be Julietta. <laughs> what no. do you mean? Oh no! <laughs> I, I really struggled to pronounce your second name. Zabatsky. Just, Zabatsky. <laughs> Just okay. say Mike Wazowski. Yeah, Mike Wazowski. Mike, Mike Wazowski. Wazowski. Oh my! Uh, Bevan, I forgot. We forgot. We forgot. We've got to do your 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 Arnold Schwarzenegger quote. Uh. The only one I could what? what? <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you, the only one I know at the moment is that PPI one, but I'm not sure that's him. <laughs> no, you were you were you were going to do last time when we did it with Mike. You were going to oh, do posh. You were going to do posh, posh, posh uh, quote. So what? I don't switch your quotes. Uh, let's let's into do. the boat. <laughs> uh, oh no, that's actually yeah, film quotes, film quotes. 
It says Mac a lot. Mac! Mac! Mac. Mac. <laughs> Dylan! Get to the chopper! Right. Uh, let me see. What's a good one? Uh... How about put that cookie down now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, go on then. Do that one. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, in your pocket. Entertain us, monkey. Entertain us, <laughs> dance, dance, monkey, dance. dance. <laughs> um, so, what am I saying? Just d- d- Arnie quotes. Arnie Put quotes. that cookie down now, or forget it, I'm not sitting on your lap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <clears throat> forget it, I'm not sitting on your lap. <laughs> 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 oh my um, god that sounded so much like arnie yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like oh my god is arnie in here wow <laughs> well uh, we're gonna, i'm so sorry <laughs> so we're gonna end it we're gonna end it with me bev and clapworthy then we're gonna go for matt geary and me, then matt Jill- geary. <laughs> Jill- <laughs> and I, I want you to put on your best northern irish accent for it and uh okay. I, I, i'm gonna do um Wait, say 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 what I'm going to say in your accent, in a really thick Irish accent. Um, and I've been Matt Geary. You sound exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> biggity biggity bong, so it is. I Potato! Do that. Potato! You're after me lucky charm. <laughs> They're always trying to steal me lucky charms. <laughs> Is that um you know from oh is it Little Britain where it's like David you shit? Is that, <laughs> or is that Wales? That would oh, be no, Wales. That's yes. Wales. Yeah, that right. would be He's Wales. The only gay in the village. <laughs> <laughs> the only gay in the village. That's, that's a good Welsh accent. Very good. Happy yeah. Matt Geary. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Welsh Matt. The Welsh Matt Geary. You, you can be the Welsh Matt Geary. Okay. Yeah. And, and, Welsh Matt Geary. Yeah. His evil twin. So um, you you can start us off then, since uh, you're you're leading the podcast, Matt Geary, and then I'll go, uh, and then uh, <laughs> Ju- Julietta will end. Well, guys, I've been the only gay in the village, and I'm Matt Geary. <laughs> you went slightly started started Welsh, went a bit with something other else, and then ended up Scottish towards the end. Yeah. You know? All right, accents aren't my thing. <laughs> But we've been Bevan Clatworthy. <laughs> Who are? <laughs> and I've been Julieta Zavatsky. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Nailed it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs>